Clooney and I used to pal around in a cool way, Ryan, playing basketball because it's a Hollywood Y. And uh, uh, so I do have some, there's some fun inside stuff on this too. Uh, my favorite, I remember the story of Hollywood Y, this is going to make us both look like idiots, is we were both... We both had the type of careers that we could play basketball on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the Hollywood Y, which is not a good sign. <laughs> you know, and, our t- <laughs> and uh, uh, we literally uh, were in between games and we both just gotten a gig and we had this conversation that he goes, dude, my career is so kind of like just, you know, slow right now that I'm doing my second pilot called ER because he was already in a sitcom called ER like 12 years before, starring Elliot Gould. Oh, wow. I go, Dude, my, and I go, my career is so lame. I just got hired on a show, show generic. It's called Friends. And literally, we had that moment of us both dissing the jobs that we just got, knowing nothing about it. You know, it was, and, and so to see that dude hit it, you knew how grateful he was, you know what I mean, to kind of land in that show and land in that. It was cool that he started talking about because it's one of the things I remember the most about. I'll just ask it because I think the audience would want to know it. I know a lot of times in the business, like you're not in the role of being like, this guy actually is an asshole or this guy sucks or total fraud or all that. But give us the Clooney scouting report as a guy that's somebody that you were buddies with for a while. All time good guy. All time still, still a dude that, uh, you know, I, I got to get closer to him again as, a, as an adult uh, just because he, he, you know, he knew my wife too and, and we got to spend some time with him. Now he's married with kids and he's going through, you know, what I went through a while ago with little ones and stuff. But a ball player, a guy you want to drink a beer with, super loyal to his friends, uh, not remotely Hollywoody. I know he was annoyed because he had to look like he sucked at basketball and out of sight. He's actually pretty good. You know, I was going to oh mention my God. that. <laughs> yeah, I had that as a note. You can tell he was tanking the basketball scenes. He looked like James Harden trying to get traded. <laughs> I know that bothered him, man, because he's the type of guy, you know, uh, that I showed up once, we were, we were spent some time at his place, and uh, uh, I beat him in horse, and uh, casually, we were just hanging around, and it wasn't a big deal, but that became the theme of him just having to crush me in horse, you know, for the rest of, he's that, you know, he's that dude, and watching him struggle in that game, because he's supposed to be a little older and want to break out of jail, you know, uh, and be tired, uh, is it, so fake. He's, he's better, he's real, he's actually a real good ball player. A legit, like, starter on his high school team, um, uh, fundamentally sound. It's him and Woody Harrelson, right? Those were the two, the two kind of best guys to play pickup with. But Woody, you know, Woody, Woody plays, uh, I love Woody. He plays actor ball. And actor ball is, uh, I, I must be the star of this pickup game if I'm a star of the TV show. So if anybody gives it oh, to me, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, Rosilla loves this. I uh, know. So he was uh, Rosilla's Woody. beaming right now. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, by the way, just so you know, Ryan, the game, basketball game that you came and played in was Gary Goldberg's own old basketball game. And that used to be Woody Harrelson and all the people from the Paramount lot because Gary started it. And he's a good player, but if you give him the ball, you just might as well just either go back on defense or go for a rebound. Doesn't matter when you give it to him. Do you know what I mean? He is chucking it up. And George uh, is just a fundamentally, you know, Kentucky, grew up playing high school basketball, fundamentally sound. If you cut, you're going to get it. You know what I mean? Um, if you if you pick and roll, you're going to get it. Uh, uh, if you're scoring, he's going to feed you. He's that guy. He's really solid. 